good morning yes he's not in pajamas and ready to go for the day me thank you zion he's giving me my charger he unplugs it from the wall every morning and gives it to me so helpful so today i am going to take you around with me of course it's a vlogging day today yeah. zion is asking for more fruity hoops i'm currently yeah. busy giving him breakfast and for breakfast today he's having fruity hoops i got these from Diskim, and I, i've seen them before and i always wanted to give them to him he generally eats very healthy this is a fun food and he's having a handful of that and then i'm going to give him some berries um here you go this is how much he's going to have and yes you can have it just now hey <laughs> hey <laughs> so i'm gonna put him in his high chair and then he's gonna have this It's not hot. It's not hot, babe. So he's having these fruity hoops. Hi, Hi baby. With some strawberries. Hi. Hi. And this is um, some ham, chicken ham. Is that what it's called? But anyways, it's like thinly sliced daily meat chicken daily meat um he looks like he's over hi. these now i actually haven't tasted hi. it before hi. they taste yummy I, I mean i wouldn't eat them because they, no thank you i don't need to eat that yes they're for you mmm for my breakfast, I think I'm just going to have a bowl of oats. Usually I have bacon and eggs, but I don't have time for that today because um, I need to go to Lang Lachta to fix my driver's license. I do not have a valid driver's license right now. Um, I had a temporary license and then the other day I realized that it had expired in May and it is now June. So, but I never received a message to tell me that my driver's license is ready. So, I don't know. Hopefully, I, I don't spend too much time there. I drove halfway there on Monday thinking that I could get it. And then when I got to Rosebank or to the Glenhove off-ramp, um, I decided to put my GPS on to direct me there. And it said, Lang Nachter may be closed today. And indeed, it was. They only opened from Tuesday, half past eight. So let me make my breakfast yeah. and then go. So this is what's left. He ate almost all of the fruity hoops and mm, like one strawberry doesn't touch the chicken. So the nappies that I stripped the other day turned out well. So I want to continue to strip the rest of what I've got. Um, there are some that are dirty that need to be washed and once they dry then I can strip them. But I'm going to do that right now. Um, the ones that are left in here are maybe what I'm going to strip or I might just strip 10 again um, because although I did buy a packet of disposable nappies I'm not sure that I would like for him to be in a disposable otherwise we're going to have more issues in terms of a rash or whatever so I'm going to take about because I ended up stripping 9 the other day so that's 2, 4... Mm. seven i just need to leave enough for the day today and he usually goes up through about five or six nappies a day so if i leave these he should be 
fine mm, five six and here we've got two four six seven so i'm going to strip these in the demesto cold water again um i don't need to show you guys that because you saw it i will link the video in the in the icon above and in the description box if you missed that one and these inserts, I'm not sure what's going on with them because this is one that should go in a nappy. I don't know where that cover is. Um, and this one too, maybe? I don't know. But once I've stripped them and they're dry and all that jazz, thank you, Zaya, I can sort these out as well. This is the night nappy. I'm not... I don't think we need to strip these because we don't really use them, it, and except in the summertime. Reason being because they're so bulky, and then he won't fit into his pajamas, which he needs because it's cold right now. But in the summertime, then he just sleeps in this because it gets extremely hot. And this is the third night that we've got. So I wanted to show you how I take care of Zion's mane, Zion the lion's little mane. Hey baby, so I washed his hair last night in the bath and I thought that it would, I have never actually washed his hair with a product, I've, I mean like a hair washing product, I usually washed it just with water um, from, you know, bath time and he baths with emulsifying ointment and all that jazz, so this is the first time that I've bought hair products for him specifically for zion so we've got the native child kids range and last night i washed his hair using this deep conditioner can i show them and this moisturizing co-wash shampoo and i was nervous about it being let me turn the camera this way i was nervous about it you know getting into his eyes and him crying but i figured out how to wash his hair so i see a lot of americans putting their kids in the sink in the kitchen and washing their hair there and i'm like i don't know about that but um i was in the bath with him so what i did was i lathered his hair in the shampoo and then made him lie back like this or like this his head being here his head was in my lap so that he's not fully submerged in the water he doesn't mind being in the water with his ears in the water because he's used to it from swim school so that helps but um that's how i was able to not get the shampoo into his eyes and he was fine with that so we're gonna see how it works for him but he also uses my brush this denman brush and what i did was so with the the it's the shampoo co-wash shampoo and then the deep conditioner and then obviously i rinsed all of that off and then daily i use this hydrating um moisturizer what is it what's it called hydrating hairspray for kids and it smells like so good it says softening moisturizing antibacterial for natural hair braids and dreadlocks um ingredients are water that is the first ingredient which mean ingredient which means it's the main ingredient glycerine loconufera which is coconut oil um castor seed oil grape seed oil shea butter and then tea tree rosemary oil um citric acid vitamin c which is nice aloe leaf juice and this is i think it's a proudly south african brand so yeah no, no. helps to grow healthy hair and scalp and antibacterial anti-itch so i often see him scratching his scalp he had really bad um what do you call that cradle cap he had really bad cradle cap which is why he's got a mohawk actually but his hair is growing back nicely and we might cut it next year Hi. So as you can see, 
his hair is actually quite long and sometimes i like to put this <laughs> top part in a ponytail <laughs> yeah do you like your product hmm? <laughs> is it and he doesn't mind so <laughs> yeah he just got a lot of knots in them but the denman brush has been helping with that but, i mean i've got to brush it and i love the fact that he does not cry when i brush his hair with this brush i used to comb it with like a small comb and then he he would he wouldn't necessarily cry but he'd moan please don't put that in your mouth thank you um he'd moan about that thank you bye bye so now i need to brush his teeth and i've got the nappy soaking so i've got to wait 45 minutes before i go to the traffic department to rinse them and then i'll wash them when i come back because they wash for a long time i feel so bad every single time when i leave and zion just cries you know my mama heart can't take it some days it's good but today was bad i don't know why like i don't know how he sort of decides that i'll be really sad when you leave today but I've got to go to the traffic department and it's far um, and then afterwards I need to go to the gym and then I'm going to get stuff for dinner tonight we're having burgers for dinner tonight um, and then I can come home and be with my son and I've got a lot of work to do I'm working on something that I want launched very soon so ugh, it just makes me so sad but whew. I feel like crying <laughs> but he'll be okay i trust her nanny his nanny she's so good with him so you know some days i come back and she's like he cried all day today because he'd be okay and then he'd think about you and miss you and then he'd be sad so yeah so i finally have a license my temporary um, license actually expired in April so I, I got it two months later I thought that they would have thrown my license away I don't know why but I got it um, I'm thinking of not going to the gym today because I have a lot of video footage to edit for this thing that I'm working on and I won't have time to do that tonight um, tomorrow i'm going to be filming workouts for saturday sweet sessions so i guess i'll be getting a workout in that way i'm going to film two workouts for saturday sweet sessions tomorrow so that i've got two workouts for the next two saturdays if you get what i mean so this saturday and the one afterwards oh my gosh <laughs> So I'm going to go to the grocery store to get stuff for dinner tonight and then I can just work in my room. If Zion disturbs me, I'm going to have to go to a coffee shop, which I don't mind, but it's really cold today. quick little store run i'm not gonna call it a grocery haul because it's not a lot bleach more bleach um i just had to you guys i honestly had to i haven't had i mean these are not the best croissants i could have made a croissant from scratch and it would slap but i don't have the time to fold croissants um and this guys when in winter time i snack a lot and my snacks are not necessarily healthy but i mean you can enjoy a pecan fudge shortbread and get a saturday sweat session on and live your best life you know um and then i got potatoes to make potato wedges for tonight's burgers and our ultimate burger bun I don't know these are my favorite i should have actually just gotten like a cheese roll for the burger buns and then for some beyond burger and for myself and zion to 
chicken burger patties. Sion loves these so, so much. He obviously won't have a burger bun or any of the other things. He, he will have a potato and a burger patty and a couple of tomatoes on the side or something. But yeah, that's about it. He can't have cheese and I did not buy vegan cheese for him. He doesn't really vibe with that, but I don't either. It's like plastic. It doesn't melt. It's not great. So right now I'm going to make myself lunch. Maybe I'll warm Zion's lunch up, eat, and then I need to get to work. I was doing some work and now I've decided to take a snack break. I had some pecan fudge shortbread. Zion, are you face first in your snacks? Zion is also having a snack. Hey boy. <clears throat> I put it in this muffin pan for him. He's having blueberries, more fruit. Zion and some veggie puffs. Is it yum? Mmm. Hi. Hi. So I'm gonna stop this vlog here. I'm tired. I am so exhausted. Hi. And little guy is watching word party and it's almost time for me to make dinner so thank you guys for tuning in i will see you in the next video which is going to be on saturday for a saturday sweat session bye